hello, and welcome to the all-new pilot episode of the new video blog, or vlog series, Actors by the Dozens. I'm your host, Dylan James Remington Beats. On this show, I will take you through film and television history and show you some of the many exciting acting careers of various actors and actresses throughout history. So, let's get started. On today's show, we will take a look at the acting career of my favorite actor, dialectician and voice expert, Paul Freese. Now, for those of you out there watching who remember the beloved TV specials created by Arthur Rankin Jr. and Joel's Bass, may have heard Freeze provide the voices for many characters in those. <laughs> you know, I for one happen to be a huge Rankin Bass fan. Those are like some of my favorite television specials in the world. That's actually why he's my favorite actor. But enough about me. Let's take a look at Freeze's acting career, shall we? <clears throat> in Walt Disney's 1959 live action picture, The Shaggy Dog, Paul Freeze plays the role of Dr. J. W. Gallen, a military psychiatrist who attempts to find out why Fred McMurray, as Mr. Daniels, believes that his son is a dog, when actually his son happens to turn into a shaggy dog. Hmm. Also, in 1959, Paul Fries is the voice of the so-called Spirit of Adventure, who guides America's favorite foul-tempered fowl, Donald Duck, through a wonderful and magical realm called Mat Magic Land. Hello, Donald. That's me. Where am I? Math Magic Land. Math Magic Land. It's the land of great adventure. Now, who are you? I'm a spirit, the true spirit of adventure. That's for me. What's that? A journey through the wonderland of mathematics. Mathematics? That's for all times. In the 1962 holiday TV special, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, starring the nearsighted Mr. Magoo in the role of Ebenezer Scrooge, Paul Freese played the role of five characters in order of appearance. The stage manager. Do you realize we've been holding the curtain for half an hour? The charity solicitor. Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Fezziwig. Yo ho there! Ebenezer! Dick! Old Joe. <laughs> what poor stiff have you robbed now? And The Undertaker. Just for a kick, we knock. You bet. In the classic Disneyland attraction, Pirates of the Caribbean, which opened in 1967, Paul Freese provided many voices, among them the greedy auctioneer, who still exists in the ride today in the famous wench auction scene. We anchor now, you swabbies. What be I offered for this winsome wench? Stout-hearted and core be a powder by the pound? Shift your cargo, dearie. Show them your larboard side. We watch the ready. Belay there, you folks. In 1967's Rank and Bass TV special, Cricket on the Hearth, based on Charles Dickens' other famous holiday story of the same title, Paul Fries provides the voices for the additional characters who are as follows. Jeremiah Bleak. The agent of the Queen who informs Danny Thomas and Marlo Thomas's characters that that a certain Edward Belton, late of Her Majesty's Royal Navy, is lost at sea. No! 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 Uriah Caw, Mr. Tackleton's nasty pet raven. We got no place for bugs around here. And the sea captain. You'll fetch a pretty price, you will. A bowl to silk or a crate of tea. In Rankin Bass' 1968 Thanksgiving special entitled Mouse on the Mayflower, Paul Freese did the voices of three characters. Captain Jones of the good ship Mayflower. Are all of your pilgrims such riffraff, Mr. Bradford? They're good enough to pay their way to the new world. So far, I haven't seen the color of your money. 
and even two scurvy sailors who plot to steal the pilgrim's gold. <laughs> Look at that gold, Quizzler. What errant fools these pilgrim blokes be, Scav. Paying all that to shove off this late in the year. Aye, what with the winter storms breathing down their necks? What they don't know can only be good for us, eh? Well, what you mean, matey? If the storms was to cause the bloomin' tub to flounder and everybody had to abandon ship... Aye! Oh, <laughs> in the confusion, we could grab that gold. Set off in our own dinghy. And when we get back to England, we'd be as rich as the king himself. <laughs> in Rankin Bass' 1968 special, The Little Drummer Boy, Paul Freese plays the roles of, in order of appearance, Ben Haramed's lanky sidekick, Ali. But it is said, Aaron dislikes all humans. He will not join us willingly. Aaron's father. And why this exceptional greeting today, my son? Oh, no reason. And the three wise men, Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthazar. Tis night. We must break camp. And swiftly, the star waits not for us. Strike the tents, pack the camels. In the classic attraction, The Haunted Mansion, Paul Fries is the voice of your ghost host, the creepy, unforeseen spirit who guides you through the eerie property known as The Haunted Mansion. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. <laughs> In Rankin Bass' other beloved classic film, Frosty the Snowman, Paul Freese does three characters. The traffic cop, who at one point tells Frosty to... Stop! 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 The ticket taker at the train station. Route you by the way, I said. Catch you on Hudson Bay, Nome, Alaska, the Klondike, and Aurora Borealis. And even jolly old St. Nicholas himself. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Karen. Frosty's not gone for good. You see, he was made out of Christmas snow. And Christmas snow can never disappear completely. Classic 1970 TV special, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Paul Fries is probably most known for his role as the central villain of the special, Burgermeister Meisterburger, the toy-hating mayor of Sombertown and his sidekick, Grimsley. What caused me to trip, Grimsley? This, sir. Hmm? A toy? As I suspected, I hate toys, and toys hate me. Mr. Special, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, made in 1971. Freeze does the voices of the following characters in order of appearance. Colonel Bunny's assistant. Uh, I really don't think Cottontail's a man, sir. I mean, he is boastful, he has no sense of responsibility, and sometimes, sometimes he fibs. Peter's alarm clock rooster. Corn flavored bubble gum. My <laughs> The fireman at the 4th of July scene. Well, that's all, fellas. Ah, oh, it was just getting good. I'll do anything for more fireworks. The man at the dinner table. Eggs. Don't mention food to me. I'm stuffed to the gills after this Thanksgiving feast. As well as Santa Claus. Watch out for Iron Tail, Santa! Oh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Peter! Merry Christmas! Lincoln Bass 1976 Easter special, The First Easter Rabbit, Paul Freeze provides the voices for the following characters. The rabbit called Spats, Excuse us for a moment. 
Since you're obviously not in the best of health, my companions and I feel it our duty to accompany you on your journey. An evil snowman named Zero, who plots to freeze Easter Valley. Are uh, you just gonna leave them snowed in like that? Ooh, ooh, they may never get out. Bruce? Who cares? <laughs> Let them all freeze for all I care. <laughs> And, once again, in the role of Santa Claus. You see, I'm all finished with my job, and I had a little spare time, so I thought I might be able to help you get started. In the 1976 TV special, Frosty's Wonder Wonderland, the sequel to the original Frosty the Snowman, Paul Freeze provides the voice for Jack Frost, who is quite jealous of all the attention given to Frosty. Ooh. Why is that snowman getting all the credit? Why don't the children love me? I'm the one who makes winter wonderful. And he even reprises his role as the traffic cop. Stop! Oh, it's you again. <laughs> the talking snowman. Well, you don't surprise me anymore. Good. And I'd like you to meet Crystal. Hello. I'm Frosty Snow White. And it's my pleasure, Crystal. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? A Snow Wife. A Snow Wife? Oh. <laughs> In 1976, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, another sequel, this time to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Paul Freese provides the voice for the villain Eon the Terrible, a giant buzzard who's out to get his claws on the baby New Year. was the horrible monster bird who had terrorized the sands of time for countless ages. He harmed the terror. As well as Santa Claus, 1776, who very much resembles Benjamin Franklin, General Ticker, and Humpty Dumpty. In the 1977 special, Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey, a new twist on the story of the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Paul Fries does the voice of Olaf, the donkey breeder who cares for Nestor and his mother, and the desert merchant of whom Nestor encounters on his journey to Bethlehem. In the 1978 adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol entitled The Stingiest Man in Town, starring Walter Matthau in the title role of Ebenezer Scrooge, Freeze does the voice of the ghost of Christmas past and the ghost of Christmas present. In the 1979 special, Jack Frost, Paul Freeze does the voice of the villain, Kubla Cross, the evil Cossack king who rules January Junction. And Father Winter, ruler of the Kingdom of the Winter Clouds. In the 1979 motion picture, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, Paul Freese provides the voices of the additional characters, Jack Frost and Officer Kelly, a policeman. But mostly, he provides the voice for the villain of the special, an icy wizard named Winterbolt, who plots to make the North Pole his own evil domain. You don't frighten me. Be gone. You've had your chance, cruel monarch of the North. And now I must silence you. Forever? Alas, nothing is forever. But you will fall into a deep, deep sleep. And so you shall remain, so long as my magic burns bright. <laughs> <laughs> Too powerful for me. Your force overwhelms. Rankin Bass 1987 version of Ken Fram's classic story, The Wind in the Willows. Paul Freeze does the voice of the Sea Rat, 
who tells Ratty, one of Toad's friends, about faraway places that he's been to. You're not one of us. <laughs> right, I'm a seafaring rat. Oh, I suppose you go on great voyages, months and months at sea. <laughs> it's the happy times on shore that appeal to me. Classic American cartoon show, The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show, which lasted from 1959 to 1961. One of Paul Frees' most famous roles is the crooked Pottsylvanian spy, Boris Badenov, Rocky and Bullwinkle's arch enemy. You know, Natasha, fearless leader is a lying, cheating, double-crossing, vicious, no-good killer. But someday he'll go too far. The Hanna-Barbera's cartoon show, Top Cat, which lasted from 1961 to 1962. The hilarious misadventures of a smooth-talking alley cat, who's constantly coming up with get-rich-quick schemes so he and his gang can have a better life. Paul Frees provided voices for additional characters throughout the show. In Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, which lasted from 1961 to 1969, Paul Fries provided the original voice for the kooky Austrian duck, Professor Ludwig von Drake. In fact, for those of you out there who enjoy karaoke, here is rare footage from World of Color of Professor von Drake singing a song entitled The Green with Envy Blues, introducing the all-new technology known as color television. Next, we're going to learn a little something about rock and roll, which started as rhythm and blues. So I'm going to sing you the blues, or rather, the greens. You see, I'm going to sing the green with envy blues. <laughs> All right, hit a note. Day! Oops! <laughs> I was reading a fly spec. Get off of there, you cookie fly, you. All right. <clears throat> That's the whole introduction. And you're supposed to do it in the right key, too. Blue as I can be, green with jealousy. Look what you've done to me. I've got those green with envy blues. I mean those red with anger blues. And there's the purple with passion blues over you. Can lose those green with envy, red with anger, purple passionate blues. Oh, 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 oh. oh I gotta get something for that. <laughs> purple with passion blues over you. In Hanna-Barbera's Secret Squirrel, from 1965 to 1967, Paul Fries provided the voices for the following characters. The hilarious octopus, Squidly Diddly. Morocco Mole, Secret Squirrel's sidekick. I am Morocco. It is forbidden to talk to the driver. Oh, sorry, Morocco. Double Q, the chief. And even Secret Squirrel's arch enemy known as Yellow Pinky. In the classic cartoon The Inspector, a series of hilarious adventures centered around a French detective. From 1966 to 1967, Paul Fries provided the voice for the police commissioner. In the other J. Ward cartoon, Dudley Do Right, created by the same creative genius behind Rocky and Bullwinkle, Paul Fries provides the voice for Inspector Fenwick, the chief of command at the Royal Canadian Mounted Police who's always this close to blowing his top with Dudley. Nell, darling, Nell, you're back! Ugh. Get him, boys! It's the Wolfman! Put him in the stockade! But, Father, that's Dudley Do-Right! Nonsense! Dudley was a clean-shaven chap! But, Father! That's the show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Paul Freeze, be sure to look him up on the net. Or, 
find a book about him at your local library. Join us next time for more behind the scenes fun. This has been Actors by the Dozens.